Okay, this exercise is the hidden sleeve attack for protection canine uh, certification. Now, in the protection canine certification, the handler is going to be healing his dog for a walk for at least 20 yards. It could, the walk could be anywhere in the park, it could be in the woods, it could be in the sidewalk, it could be walking down the street, it could be anywhere the judge decides the scenario. Every trial, the scenario is going to be different. Now, the decoy is going to have a hidden sleeve on, and he could have a 22 revolver, or he could have a baton. In this scenario, the decoy is going to have a baton. The decoy is going to come out the, after he sees the, the canine handler team walking for at least 20 yards. Now, the dog is going to have also... Um, this is going to be totally off leash. So the the the, the decoy the handler starts uh, healing the dog for 20 yards. The decoy is going to come out from a hiding place and he's going to start walking. When he's he's going to walk normally towards the canine handler team. Once he's within 10 to 20 yards of the handler team, he's going to start threatening the handler and his dog. He's going to start threatening him, and then he's going to tell him. Uh, the handler's going to tell the, the, the decoy not to get any closer or else he's going to send his dog. The, hand, the, the decoy is going to continue the threat by charging the handler with his baton or with the gun. The handler is going to ask his dog to go attack the, the suspect. Once the dog attacks the suspect, it's going to be a 10 to 20 second bite. Now, after the, the 10 to 20, excuse me, 10 to 15 second bite, once the, the judge signals the, the handler team to uh, call, call the dog off, the handler is going to have to ask the dog to out and come back to him. He's, there's no guard in this exercise. There's no guarding. The dog was executed out in a recall back to the handler. And then once the dog comes back to within a yard of the handler in a stationary position, the exercise is going to end. But this is what it's going to look like. The judge is going to tell the, the, hand, the canine handler to start the exercise. X active. I've already walked 20 yards. Closer, I'm gonna send my dog. Hey, attack! sleeve attack. Now, in this exercise, the decoy has a hidden sleeve, has the baton. When he comes out of the blind, he comes out with the baton behind his arm. He's not threatening the handler team. Once he approaches the handler team and he's within 10 to 20 yards, he brings out the baton and he starts threatening the, the handler team and tells them to give me his money or He's gonna take it from him. Once he starts threatening, the decoy work is, he's gonna start charging. He's gonna present the forearm, because there's no equipment, the do dog's not gonna see equipment. So he's gonna present the forearm so that the dog will target the arm. And then he's gonna start charging. Now in this exercise, the decoys are gonna have scratch pants underneath uh, warm-up pants, okay? And they're gonna have their hidden sleeve. He's gonna start charging and then the, he's gonna catch the dog. When he catches the dog, the decoy is not gonna be training by backing up and he's not gonna be touching the dog. And, 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 a, and a certification is not training. In training, you can touch the dog and you can back up as you work the dog. Here in the trial, in the, in the certification, the decoy is gonna be stationary as he works the dog. So all he can do is really uh, catch the dog and, and, and do his strikes and just move in the fluid motion of striking the dog but he cannot move around he has to be totally stationary 
It has to be a static bite. The decoy cannot help the dog stay on the bite. The dog must demonstrate that he has the fighting instincts to bring the fight to the decoy the whole time without any help from the decoy. And it's a static uh, fight the whole time. Now, when there's gunfire, when the gun is, uh, is in place, the decoy is, when he comes out of the blind and he gets within 10 to 20 yards of the handler team that's out for a walk, he's gonna bring out the gun, he's gonna shoot once, boom! And then he's gonna uh, threaten the, the canine handler team and he's gonna say, uh, give me your money or I'm gonna take it from you. I'm gonna shoot you if you don't give me your money. The, the handler team immediately is gonna send his dog and the handler, once he sends his dog, the, the, the work of the decoy is gonna be, he's gonna present the forearm again and once the dog comes and engages, okay, and he's gonna to count to two seconds, 1,001, 1,002, and then he's gonna bring the gun out to the furthest point away from the, from the dog. If the dog is here, he's got to, his hand's gotta be across his body and he's gonna shoot the gun here. Boom! He cannot shoot the gun down here. He's, it's gotta be up in the air right here. If it's a right-handed uh, decoy, a uh, left-handed decoy with the, the right hidden sleeve, the, the, the gunfire is going to be like this. Boom! It's going to be a static bite. Okay, and all and all, the, all the decoy can do is this. Or he can just let the dog move with the dog thrashing him, or he can be totally static. It's got to be a 10 to 15 second bite with no help from the decoy. No equipment, no suit, hidden sleeve. The dog has to prove that he can attack uh, a totally civil suspect, a, a suspect that has no equipment on, that he, he, he's got to be totally street worthy at that point. That's the whole objective of this exercise. But that is the decoy work for the baton and the decoy work for the, for the gun. Um, the dog outs, recalls, and once the dog is next to the handler, then the judge is going to uh, uh, call the exercise to an end. If the, everything goes well with the handler and the dog's work, they will pass the exercise.